Hi, I'm Grace. From Virtual Fitness TV. Walking 1,000 or more steps a day is good for many things. This video is designed to have a natural virtual walk in the world's most beautiful locations. You can simply just walk in front of the TV, move the couch if you have to, and simply follow the step counter to reach the 1,000 steps. Is also a perfect warm-up on a treadmill or even an indoor bicycle. Now let's go. Welcome to our cycling tour through San Francisco, with its great parks and world-famous steep streets. The San Francisco cable car system is the world's last manually operated cable car system. An icon of San Francisco, the cable car system forms part of the intermodal urban transport network operated by the San Francisco Municipal Railway. Of the 23 lines established between 1873 and 1890, only three remain, two routes from downtown near Union Square to Fisherman's Wharf, and a third route along California Street. While the cable cars are used to a certain extent by commuters, the vast majority of their 7 million annual passengers are tourists. In the background, set in the ocean you can see Alcatraz Island located in San Francisco Bay. The small island was developed with facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, a military prison, and a federal prison from 1934 until 1963. Cycling in San Francisco is real fun and rewarding, as you get a great view due to the high viewpoint of the enormous steep San Francisco streets. The 1.7-mile-long Golden Gate Bridge, an icon of the San Francisco Bay region, connects the city of San Francisco to Marin County, California. At its completion in 1937, the suspension bridge was considered an engineering marvel, the longest main suspension bridge span in the world. Some fun facts about the Golden Gate Bridge. The bridge is actually not golden at all. It's a bright red-orange. It was named one of the seven wonders of the modern world. It took four years to build. There are approximately 600,000 rivets in each of the bridge's towers. It's the most photographed bridge in the world.
Fog is a common weather phenomenon in the San Francisco area, as well as along the entire coastline of California. The frequency of fog and low-lying stratus clouds is due to a combination of factors particular to the region that are especially prevalent in the summer. Another type of fog, tule fog, can occur during the winter. There are occasions when both types can occur simultaneously in the Bay Area. The San Francisco, Oakland Bay Bridge, known locally as the Bay Bridge, is a complex of bridges spanning San Francisco Bay in California. As part of Interstate 80, and the direct road between San Francisco and Oakland, it carries about 260,000 vehicles a day on its two decks. It has one of the longest spans in the United States. Indoor cycling helps you shed fat, improve your heart health, and boost your muscle endurance. Your legs will get a serious workout. By the end of your cycling exercise, you'll have a steady stream of feel-good brain chemicals called endorphins. The San Francisco Bay Area is indeed one of the world's most spectacular boating venues. With access to the open waters of the Pacific Ocean, plenty of bays to explore, and scenic views of the city skyline, and the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Area is a boater's paradise.
Here on your right you can see the Willie Mays statue. Willie Mays started his rookie year in baseball in 1951, wearing a Giants uniform in New York. When the team moved to San Francisco in 1958, he continued to wear number 24 until 1972. At the end of his career, he had hit 660 home runs. This statue by William Barons of the Say Hey Kid was erected in 2000 on Willie Mays Plaza in front of the At and T Park. The architecture of San Francisco has interesting and challenging variations in geography and topology and tumultuous history. San Francisco is known worldwide for its particularly eclectic mix of Victorian and modern architecture. Bay windows were identified as a defining characteristic of San Francisco architecture. Indoor cycling can be pursued by anyone interested in getting in shape. You can control your workout and choose the time you want to spend on your bike. Further, indoor cycling is low resistance, meaning that it is easy on places like your knees and ankles as compared to other workouts. Alamo Square Park, the neighborhood's focal point and namesake, consists of four city blocks at the top of a hill overlooking much of downtown San Francisco, with a number of large and architecturally distinctive mansions along the perimeter. The famous Painted Ladies, a well-known postcard motif can be seen just when you leave the park. Named after the lone cottonwood tree, Alamo in Spanish, Alamo Hill, was a watering hole on the horseback trail from Mission Dolores to the Presidio in the 1800s. In 1856, Mayor James Van Ness created a 5.1 hectare park surrounding the watering hole, creating Alamo Square.
In the 1860s, San Franciscans began to feel the need for a spacious public park similar to Central Park, which was then taking shape in New York City. Golden Gate Park was carved out of unpromising sand and shore dunes that were known as the outside lands, in an unincorporated area west of San Francisco's then current borders. The underlying purpose of the park was housing development and the westward expansion of the city. The tireless field engineer William Hammond Hall prepared a survey and topographic map of the park site in 1870 and became its commissioner in 1871. He was later named California's first state engineer and developed an integrated flood control system for the Sacramento Valley. The park drew its name from nearby Golden Gate Strait. Our cycling trip through San Francisco comes to an end. We hope you enjoyed the tour and the sightings along the way of this very popular city. Please subscribe to our channel for the best virtual content. Every week new videos.